I've always watched people play, but I've never once played a single Metal Gear game. Tak samo. Okay, so she's making a fucking mess. V has come to. 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 Awakening. A quiz man. That's where my mic is on. Mute it again. Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me.
Look up, please. I'm trying. Very good. Don't How do you feel me. now? Can you speak? Obviously not, she big. What is your name? Snake. When were you born? Snake! Snake! Enter your name. I'm gonna... Whoop. Uh, is there a special character button? I never really looked into this. Let's just go for my actual birthday. Oh, <laughs> I was born on a Monday. Good. Now then. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know you would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. Damn it! Nosokoma! 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 Nurse! Calm down. Calm down. Try not to panic. Wait a second. Try not to panic. Nine years isn't too bad. I thought I was gonna drop like, go by the like, come on, I'll start to hear Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. This is what dreams are made of. Hey, hey, hey. How do you feel? Well, lady, you fucking hit me to sleep. How do you think I feel? It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you mustn't be alive. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Oh, look at that shrapnel. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within. Not bad. Just a little more than In addition to shrapnel, bones I have in my body. we also found fragments of human bone and oh. human teeth. Oh. Most oh of it was removed. It's like the tick. Some of the fragments bad guy that still remain. And all they, found were his teeth. they are located near your heart and in your skull. Ugh. Ugh. Random teeth in my body. It's like the movie teeth. A little bit Look at this. Sure. Oh yeah, half the, the fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI. The metal, you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. So I'd be pretty much lobotomized. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is of your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. Yes, 
Yes. Yes. Calm down. Yes. Oh shit. Yes. There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead, but you're not. The wheels are in motion. But you're not. Your enemies are everywhere. We must oh, alter your well. appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world out there, so there's something we need to take care of first. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. What you look like, however... Well... Okay then. He's handsome. That's a really cool tattoo. Oh my god, there's mutton chops. No! Did Curtis pick that? Oh god, I hope he didn't. <laughs> that was another handsome face. Yeah, I like this face. It's Joe Santagago. <laughs> no, not the mud chops. Anything but the mud chops. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll stick with one. Oh, can we go? Oh. That's actually really nice. Maybe I should just go with my name for Donnell and be a ginger. <laughs> or the Sla Fox of Patrick. my brother in like 30 years. <laughs> just, let's just keep that Joe Santagago look going. Okay. So, now what? Give a more softer, useful look, I guess. Oh, he looks so sad! It looks like a puppy! Oh. Let's keep that sad appearance. Gotta keep him filled with worry. Oh.
voluptuous. Some of these are just pretty fucking lame. Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. It's quite the plastic surgeon. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. This is you, as you've lived until this day. Tomorrow, it becomes... a phantom. What? Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... 
We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, you're in the land of the living. Bad news? A world wants you to <laughs> On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. I thought he changed my face. I am so confused. Why did my Need face a little change pick me up? Okay. Oh, Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! So much for changing my appearance.
yourself. It's always good to try and mend your injuries while hiding from the enemy. Over there.
Move! Go! out there. It's all right. We'll be okay. I can't see what's happening. Do you hear that? What's going on out there? Hey! Oh, okay. Hey! 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 I can't see what's happening. What is that? What's happening out there? Does anybody know? Hey!
are sitting ducks. Blend in with the bodies. Get down on your stomach and crawl. himself.
Hold on. We better stop and treat that injury. Ready for this? I hate it again. Ah. Know how to shoot a gun? Hold down the aim button to aim, then press the attack button to fire. Destroy it.
Let me bring in the fire truck. in that sea when we landed. And he was shot. So we couldn't have gone anywhere. And he was strapped in.
No, we didn't. My name's Ocelot. Big boss. You know who I am. A certain man gave me a job to do. Two, actually. First was to get you out of that hospital. The second was to rescue the man himself. You remember? Your partner, nine years ago, Kazuhira Miller. Nine years back, your private army came under attack by Cypher. You were considered dead. Until today, that is, when Cypher found you. And it's not just them. The whole world wants you dead. You'll have to join up with Miller. Build that private army of yours one more time. It's your only chance. First, we need to save Miller. He's in Afghanistan. Afghanistan? <laughs> what, you can't keep up with world affairs in a coma? Four years ago, the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. The Muslims are fighting back with Western support. Miller was training Mujahideen rebels when he was captured by the Soviets. Red's 40th Army. Troop strength somewhere around 100,000. Squad holding Miller set off near the Pakistan border yesterday. Now in three days, they'll reach the Soviet garrison. They'll be interrogated for a few more days, and it's off to a logger. Or left to rot in a ditch on Afghan soil. I give him two weeks. 
job didn't mean anything to Miller. He only took it on to keep you safe. Well, there's our ride. It's a whaling ship. Had a pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising a stink. Now it's seven days to Port Cassim, another three overland. So we won't have much time once we're there. Don't take too long getting used to your new self. Hang on. Cyprus, that's a Greek island, isn't it? Between, uh, well, it's always in a war between, uh, the Middle East and, uh, Greek, but who's, who actually owns the island? Cigar, I don't just think. Oh, it's a time cigar, yeah. Time makes time pass. Well, for you at least. You kind of like zone out for a bit. under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for 10 days. Not much time left. Weather will clear shortly. Storm's passing. on ice. 
solo infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces. Should be the perfect warm-up. Cousin Hira Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your hydro. You see Wandy on the map? That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is, we don't know his exact location. Finding it is your first priority. Go ahead and close the hydro. Got your binoculars? Or should I say, your int scope? See the village? Straight ahead? Look up. All right, that's the village. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell you anything I can about it. That's Vialo village, the Vialo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviet's 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewan Dehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where it is. Good. Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along the way. You can't have much left in him. I give him three days, Tops. If we fail, and he dies, we lose our chance of revenge. But we need more intel. If you just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it, well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. Oh, fuck you too. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you, and return this big boss. That's how Koss would want it. I'll be sending additional <laughs> intel by radio. Stay sharp. Open. That go? Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. And they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and knees. You'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. Now go! Let the legend come back to life. Yeah. 
it's marking. Focus on the thread and it'll be marked automatically. You can mark enemies and vehicles by zooming in with your binoculars or camera. Once they're marked, you'll also see their positions on the map. the enemy doesn't decide to use it. Same goes for hiding downed enemies in it. The Soviet soldier. A lot of them came from Central Asia before, but lately they've been using more and more Russians. Simple, really. There's less hesitation to pull the trigger if they're not fighting their own race. Morbid cynicism, but it gets results. That's humanity for you. Soviet soldier of the 40th Army. DRA forces around. The Soviets must want to keep that area under direct control. Soviet soldier of the 40th Army.
Still quite a way to the village. Can you get any closer? It's a heavy machine gun. Packs far more power than any rifle. You can either use it yourself or destroy it. Either way, best keep in mind some way to deal with it. An irrigation ditch. Won't be long before the Soviets fill it in. They've stepped up their scorched earth operation. Shells travel in a curved trajectory, meaning they hit from up above you. That's communications equipment used by the outpost CP. It must be how they keep in touch with headquarters. If you destroy it, you might be able to cut off. You're almost at the enemy outpost, Violo Village. The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? What do you think I'm doing, Ocelot? How about it? Can you see the village from there? Use the binoculars to reek on the place. It's up to you whether to slip by enemies or take them down. Just remember that any situation can change fast. That's a rough diamond. Good find. It'll fetch a high price. station. Look at their gear. Take it all in. There should be a command post somewhere. See any buildings with tighter security? If there are clues to Miller's whereabouts, I'll bet you can find them in there. A parabolic antenna. The Soviets must have added that themselves. Meaning there's communications equipment inside. That's a type of medicinal plant. Bring it back to base. It's sure to be useful sometime.
Not a civilian in sight. The Soviets have taken complete control of the place. Dumpster. Looks big enough to hide somebody. You could stash a downed enemy in there, or hide in it yourself, just don't stand too close to me afterward. A Soviet soldier of the 40th Army. antenna. There could be intel files of some kind in there. Anytime you need advice, just give me a call. you to stay out of sight even while on the move. It's effective for avoiding enemy guard posts and long-range reconnaissance patrols. on your eye drawer.
Sight, sound. Keep all your enemy senses in mind. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. If you stand up and run around, you'll make it easier for them to spot you. DRA forces around. The Soviets must want to keep that area under direct control. A Soviet soldier of the 40th Army. No DRA forces around. The Soviets must want to keep that area under direct control.
longer effective. Bear in mind your weapon will be loud from now on. Bodies out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. DRA forces around. The Soviets must want to yeah. keep that area under direct control. Yeah. Not a civilian in sight. The Soviets have taken complete control of the place. prosthetic arm to make a knocking sound anywhere and lure the enemy. You can also select empty magazines to throw from among your support weapons. Hold the call button L1 and to open the menu and select knock and lure. Jeez. Yeah! Soldier of the 40th Army. I doubt the place is empty with those lights on. Maybe Miller's guards.
few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewan Dehar. The transport log might still be around somewhere. Yeah. I doubt the place is empty with those lights on. Maybe Miller's guards... DRA forces around. The Soviets must want to keep that area under direct control. That's the building, boss. That's where they're holding Miller. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Not a civilian in sight. The Soviets have taken complete control of the place.
reached one day. Miller is being held somewhere in that town, but we don't know exactly where he is. You can keep gathering intel, or make an entry into the town now. Doubt the place is empty with those lights on. Maybe Miller's guards. I doubt the place is empty with those lights on. Maybe Miller's guards. That's the building, boss. That's where they're holding Miller.
dawn soon. Your surroundings will be easier to see, but that goes for the enemy as well. The guard detail in Soviet outpost changes in the morning too. Watch yourself. Contact with the target now. Hold off until the heat is died. The enemy on full contact.
it again later, because I am having the hardest time with it. We don't know Miller's exact location, so you'll need to do a little intel gathering first. Yeah. Take a look around. Okay. Hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. You got moved from Cuba's little America right into Cyprus's little Britain. Why Dekelia? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place Cypher would think to look for you is inside their own system. That's what kept you safe in British military hospital for nine years. The safest place from a whale is inside its own belly. You were a regular Geppetto. Well, it wasn't Pinocchio who led me out to safety. So who was that guy? Cypher went so far as to attack British territory, burning their own ally. That's how badly they wanted you dead. He said I was in a British military hospital. But the doctor had a Greek accent. They hire locally. Easier to trust them. The Kelly is also home to Greek Cypriots, after all. What about the Turks? They haven't returned to the south. Not yet. Oh my goodness. The Cyprus dispute is still a long way from resolved. The country is just as split as it was in 74. Turkish Cypriots in the north, Greek Cypriots in the south. Between them, the Green Line, the UN established. And the Kalia sits right on top of it. It does. Part of the buffer zone between the two groups. Another reason it was the perfect place to hide you. Easy to spot any outsiders snooping around. So how do things stand? Now, last year, the Turks declared that the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is an independent state, though it's only Turkey that recognizes it. In the past, the Greeks and Turks lived side by side in the same villages. There are reasons to fight. Those came from the outside. Greece, Turkey, Britain, America, they all had their own stake in pitting the two sides against each other. Did they? But once you spark something like this, it's impossible to control. Both sides build up grudges like debt without the foresight to see that each act of revenge just fans the flames, and then it's too late for other nations to rush in with peace talks. The embers keep on smoldering. Each nation's arrogance only breeds anarchy. The world is paralyzed by this hunger for revenge. Cyprus is no different. Changing ships? Well, we can't go sailing the Suez in a whaler. The Suez Canal. When did they reopen it? Not long after you were attacked. Once they finished sweeping it for mines after the Arab-Israeli conflict. Can you stand? <sighs> we're gonna transfer to a container ship for passage through the Suez. Our destination is Pakistan, Afghanistan's neighbor to the south. There, we disembark and head via Peshawar to the Zero Line, the border. We'll travel to the Khyber Pass by road. And then? We continue on horseback. Afghanistan's main roads are under Soviet control. We'll need to go around them. It'll be all narrow, winding paths through the mountains. We'll do better on horseback. Interesting. It's a local guerrilla tactic. They use the higher ridges to avoid air recons. Then they charge down the mountains for ambushes. The Soviets still haven't devised a counter strategy. Our time frame is only half as much as we really need. Gonna be a tough march. Better horses than boats. Well, it'll make for good physiotherapy. Take the time to get used to that new arm. While the Soviets have indicated they are not participating in the Los Angeles Olympics, primarily because the United States has made no attempt to guarantee the safety of the Soviet Union's athletes, the United States is increasingly demonstrating the belief that the issue has nothing to do with its preparations, and in fact this is retaliation for the Western nation's boycott of the previous Moscow Olympics. That concludes today's news. That's quite some news. Uh, the Soviet Union not attending the LA Olympics? Yeah. Andropov's death has changed some things. They're calling it revenge for the Western boycott of the Moscow Olympics. 
Countries boycotted the Moscow Olympics? Yes. In protest of the Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan, over 50 countries were absent. It's too bad I didn't get to see Yamashita's judo. When the 40th Army crossed the Amu River four years ago, detente went right out the window. The U.S. Congress chose not to ratify SALT II, and Reagan's hardline politics won in the presidency in a landslide. According to him, the Soviet Union's an evil empire. <laughs> the Second Cold War. And there's been no end to regional conflicts and civil wars. Lebanon, the Falklands, Grenada, Iran, Iraq, the story never changes. Egypt and Israel did sign a peace treaty. But then the driving force on the Egyptian side, President Sadat, was assassinated afterward. Apparently, his actions were considered a betrayal of his fellow Arabs. Islamic extremists? Yes. Fundamentalist extremists have been responsible for some bold acts of terrorism in recent years. We've had extremist students in Iran take U.S. embassy workers hostage in suicide bombings in Lebanon. Over 300 foreign soldiers stationed there have been killed. But countries have yet to develop an effective means of dealing with terrorism. Afraid of losing their own men, they've pulled their forces out, handing private forces a golden opportunity. Private forces? Small armies with no national affiliation, working for the highest bidder. That's right, they got the idea from you. After Mother Base went down, they began spreading to meet the soaring demand. Miller's organization is just one of many PFs now. The entire world is after you. But at the same time, it needs you too. Huh. That's funny. Miller told me about what happened in the Caribbean nine years ago. You do remember okay. Miller. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna You'd stop formed a private army with him. An army with no allegiance to a nation. I remember, but I see. You're not sure what's fact and what's a... I'll Fantasy it out. caused by the coma. Back later with the it's still all a mess, huh? Guys. All like.